Peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to create our own custom puzzle. So let's get to it. So what software will we be using for this puzzle? Well, for actually creating the jigsaw puzzle outline, we're going to actually use Inkscape. So there's an extension for Inkscape called Laser Cut Jigsaw that we're going to download and install in our computer, and we'll show you that process. And then we can take that file and move it directly into Lightburn where we can laser cut out that puzzle shape with any image that we want. All right, so if you just Google search laser cut jigsaw Inkscape, you can find the extension here. If you go to the inkscape.org website, you can find it and it's right here and you can see you can basically download this extension install it into inkscape and then it will be able to create your jigsaw shape with a whole bunch of customization which is kind of neat so to download it all you have to do is click on this here and it will go into your downloads right there and then to install into inkscape you want to go ahead and open up inkscape create a new document and then if you go to preferences and then system and then user extensions, go to the open folder and you can see all of our other extensions, which is our Sashi Co and our Ink Stitch, of course. And now if we go into our downloads folder, we'll see our Jigsaw extension. And all you need to do is in the folder that downloads is take these two files and drag them into your extensions folder. Just like that, now it's done. So now we'll go ahead and restart Inkscape. Start Inkscape and now we're gonna show you the extension. But first, we're gonna change your background color because we've noticed it's always defaulting to blue. So we'll just make the background color so it can be easier to see. So we're just gonna go to Document Properties and we're gonna change our color to white, there we go. So now we have our color changed. To use the jigsaw puzzle, we go to extensions, render, and there it is right there, laser cut jigsaw. And we just click on that. And we can set all kinds of settings here. We can set the overall width and height, the units of measurement, the corner radius, which sets how curved the corner pieces are. We can set an outer border. So if this puzzle was within another frame, uh, we could set that as well as if you click onto the notches tab, you can adjust the size of the little pieces that connect. So let's go ahead and show a wide preview of what this puzzle would look like. You can see right here, this is what it would look like. And we can adjust again, how small the little notches are that connect and adjust the randomization of the puzzle design. So if we want it to look really crazy, there's also different kinds of patterns you can use for the jigsaw. So that's pretty much it for our settings. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit apply, close that. And then now all we need to do is save this as an SVG. And then we can import that SVG directly into Lightburn to help us cut out our puzzle. Let's do it. All right. So we're in Lightburn, and now we can just import our images that we need and our puzzle SVG. Right, and we're gonna start with the images because I found that it's just easier working in our workspace, but you could do this in any order. First, what I wanna do is kind of crop our images because I'm doing something a little bit different and putting multiple pictures in there just to kind of show you how to do this in Lightburn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and frame out our five by five square that we're gonna be doing. I'm actually gonna make it just slightly bigger than 5.5 because I kind of want my engraving of my picture to go outside the bounds of the puzzle itself uh, so that we don't have any like unfinished edges, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to make it 5.2 by 5.2. And then I'm just using this box really just to crop our images. Bring in our first image. This image we actually used for a patch a while back. Okay, I'm gonna go to my selector tool and then I'm going to just kind of expand this out a little bit. And then our second image is going to be this one. Yeah, this was sent by a viewer. Mm -hmm. So in order to kind of crop this into our little square here, we're just gonna select both objects one at a time. So our first file and then our square that we made. Grab that, grab that and then right click and you can go to apply mask to image. And you can see it kind of cut off the edges 
And then we can basically do the same thing with the other image. And now we can import our puzzle SVG to overlay on top of it. So you can see when it drags in as an SVG, it is already the right size because we sized it in Inkscape. And now we can just kind of center this here. All right, so basically that's it. That's the creation of it. Now we just need to set it up for our laser. And I'm just gonna make a few adjustments here. So the SVG that we brought over, it's going to be a line because it's going to cut through the wood, whereas the image is just an engraving. Mm -hmm. Okay, to the laser engraver. So we picked up these little craft squares at our local hobby store. We got them because they're really thin. They're like a sixteenth of an inch. That is kind of perfect for laser cutting and will be perfect for this little laser project. So we're going to go ahead and use this. And we designed our puzzle piece to match the radius of this piece of wood. So let's get to the laser. Now, one thing we did notice is the gaps between the jigsaw pieces are a little bit big, and that's because of the kerf of the laser cutting through the material. So it's not going to fit like a, a regular jigsaw puzzle, but it's really close. Yeah, I think it turned out really cool, and it can be a very personalized gift or just something fun to do. Yeah, and we use something simple, just like a cartoon image, but you could use a, a full-up image of a person, place, or thing. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.